Our overall health is founded on three key pillars, exercise, good nutrition, and sleep. This video discusses the importance of sleep and the impact it has on your overall health and well-being. We will discuss strategies you can use to help improve your sleep. Sleeping well directly affects your physical health, mental health and quality of life. The ideal length of sleep may differ from person to person, but on average a minimum of 7-8 to eight hours of sleep per night is advisable. The quality of the sleep you get is also important. You should wake feeling refreshed and well rested. Not getting enough refreshing sleep can lead to reduced daytime activity, productivity, pain and even weight gain. Try experimenting with the following tips to help improve your sleep. Tip 1. Exercise during the day. Regular exercise can increase the amount of time you spend in the deep stages of sleep. Deep sleep is vital for optimal physical health, mental health and emotional health. The more vigorously you exercise, the more powerful the sleep benefits. But even light exercise, such as 10 minutes of walking, can improve sleep quality. Exercise guidelines recommend that you do at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week, which gets you warm and out of breath. Choose an exercise that you enjoy and can perform regularly. Tip two, be mindful of your eating and drinking habits. What you eat and drink can play a role in how well you sleep, especially in the hours before bedtime. Try to limit caffeine. Caffeine can cause sleep problems hours after drinking it. Consider switching to decaffeinated drinks, but be mindful that they may still contain a level of caffeine. Nicotine is also a stimulant that can disrupt your sleep. Cut down smoking and don't smoke close to bedtime. Try to avoid alcohol before bed as it can also interfere with your sleep cycle. And limit how much liquid you drink before bed as too much may result in frequent bathroom trips during the night. Tip three, improve your sleep environment. Reduce noise in your room or use earplugs when this is not possible. Alternatively, mask noises with a fan. Reduce light in your room or wear an eye mask. Keep your room cool. Most people sleep best in a well-ventilated room around 18 degrees Celsius. Make sure your bed covers, pillow and mattress are comfortable. And use your bed for sleeping only. Don't eat, drink or watch TV in bed. Tip four, wind down before bed. A peaceful bedtime routine sends the message to your brain that it's time to wind down and go to sleep. Feelings of stress, worry or anger can make it difficult to sleep well. Consider writing these feelings down to stop you dwelling on them during the night. Try to relax in the last hour or two before bed. Have a bath, listen to relaxing music or read a book or magazine. Tip 5. Synchronise your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Getting in sync with your body's natural alarm clock can help improve your sleep patterns. Try to go to sleep and wake up at the same time each day. Choose a bedtime when you feel ready to sleep. Avoid sleeping in, even on weekends. If you feel sleepy before bedtime, do something mildly stimulating, such as washing dishes or calling a friend. Napping in the evening can lead to trouble sleeping later in the night. Tip 6. Control your exposure to light. Light can affect your sleep-wake cycle. You can influence your exposure to light by avoiding bright screens at least one hour before going to bed. Blue light emitted by phones, computers and TVs can be disruptive to sleep. Dim the lights at home one hour before going to bed. Spend more time outside during the day. Take your work breaks outside, for example, or exercise outdoors. And expose yourself to sunlight when you first wake by having your coffee outside or eating breakfast by a window. This will help you feel more awake. 
Finally, if you can't sleep, don't lie in bed thinking about not being able to sleep. Try counting slowly in your head. If you still can't sleep after about half an hour, get out of bed and try a relaxing activity such as reading a book until you feel sleepy again. In summary, sleep is important for your overall health and well-being and can be affected by lots of different factors. If you're struggling to get enough quality, refreshing sleep, consider trying some of these tips. And remember, it can take time to see any change. If you continue to have problems with your sleep, speak to a health professional. Thank you for listening.